Hi guys, Mr. Waffles here. Something fishy is going on with Black Ops 3 Zombies. We've had our official things like the trailers. The giant trailer came out yesterday and I've uploaded a video about it. There's the Shadows of Evil trailer too. All of this stuff will be linked in the description, but that's all stuff coming from Treyarch directly. This video is going to be talking about how Treyarch are maybe indirectly trying to tease us with things. So what's their chosen method of giving us these teasers without actually giving us the teasers themselves? Well, it's possible that they may be working with Syndicate in order to actually give us these teasers. So what the hell am I talking about? Allow me to explain. This year, Treyarch decided to reveal zombies with the Shadows of Evil trailer and a zombies panel at San Diego Comic-Con. The panel was hosted by, you guessed it, Syndicate. For those of you that don't know, Tom is a big Zombies fan, and the fact that he's worked with Treyarch to do this panel means that I think it's safe to say he's reasonably close with them. Now that little precursor's out of the way, I'd like to highlight the fact that today, on the 12th of July 2015, Tom has posted his Shadows of Evil trailer, so it's the same trailer that Treyarch showed us, except there's an interesting change at the very beginning. He's shown us this image. The source is from a band called Holy Mountain. The album title is Ancient Astronauts. That's what the sort of tendrily stuff says below the pyramid. You guys will no doubt notice the similarities between the pyramid on the cover and the pyramid that we're used to seeing flying around in space on the moon loading screen. Now, don't get me wrong. Vimanas definitely have their place in the Call of Duty Zombies storyline, but why on earth are we being shown it before the Shadows of Evil trailer? It's an extremely strange link. I mean, it's a cool link, the fact that it says Ancient Astronauts, and going back to the moon loading screen, we've got a Vimana just like with this album cover, and we have what appear to be some astronauts, but it's still kind of perplexing in my opinion. It doesn't end there. Looking at the description of that video from Tom, he starts it off with, the marked ones wouldn't want you to blink. Now this is super weird. At this point, some people are no doubt going to be thinking, this is just Tom being silly. But it doesn't make any sense for him to randomly start throwing weird Easter eggs into his videos and putting cryptic messages in the descriptions if it's not going to lead anywhere. He's been working with Treyarch to do this panel, and it would make perfect sense for them to either release some information through him, like they are seemingly doing, or maybe even show us, I don't know, like a trailer or something on his channel. Who knows what they're planning? To go even deeper with this, if the marked ones are somehow related to the unmarked man, if you need a description about who that is and what the hell that means, Link in the description, I've got an entire video covering it, check it out, I implore you to do so. The unmarked man and the marked ones sound like they fit in the same boat sort of thing, or maybe opposing boats, but put it this way, they're in the same patch of ocean. So that is a potential tie-in as well. But Tom has been giving us even more stuff. For example, last night, he tweeted, Don't blink. Hashtag BO3 Zombies. Some people will just think Doctor Who when they read this, but the fact that he's hashtagged Black Ops 3 Zombies means that I think it's safe to say that that's not the reference he was making. And now, to tie this all together, back when the Unmarked Man stuff was going on, back in April, towards the end of it, and I was tweeting back and forth with the Unmarked Man, Tom, at one point, went through a phase of sorts and tweeted some rather specific and interesting things. The most interesting, in my opinion, was this image. The image itself is of a skull, obviously, but it's specifically an Inca skull that has undergone trephination. That's when a hole is made in the skull of a living person. So you have a perfectly normal person that decides, essentially, to drill a hole in their head and in doing so, they cut out a sort of circular piece of bone that used to be part of their skull and is no longer because it's outside their body now. Why would someone want to do this? Well, it's to relieve pressure in some cases, supposedly. In others, it's been thought that 
It may allow you to better interact with spirits and demons or release demons from inside your head. I mean, in zombies, we're completely familiar with the idea of having someone's consciousness, for example, Richtofen, planted in someone else's body, for example, Samuel. So in a case like that, if Samuel drilled a hole in his head, he might think, he's a bit bonkers, he might think that that would allow him to remove Richtofen from his brain or from his consciousness and essentially become himself again. That is just a sort of general idea for the sort of situation it might be used in. The question now is, where are we going from here? Where do we go? And how do we know what's to come from Treyarch or Tom or whoever in the future? I mean, some of these tweets that I've talked about might not be relevant in any way. Maybe none of it is. You might hold that opinion and you're perfectly entitled to have it because we don't have any official way of knowing for sure that this is stuff that we should be investigating. But I personally think that it would be extremely weird for Tom to randomly decide to pop some images in his video and write a distinctly cryptic line right at the top of his description and have all this stuff on Twitter going on. Things like, don't blink? What? It's teasing us. It's just, it's got to be. I feel like there must be something here. Maybe, maybe I'm just being too hopeful. Maybe. It's possible. And in a situation like this, it's tough for a person like me because I have to sort of say, okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and post a video. You guys might think I'm going completely bonkers, but hopefully at least one person in the comment section is on board with me and hopefully we get some new info soon. I'm intrigued. I am absolutely intrigued. If this is a Treyarch thing that is going on, then oh boy, I want more. I've been Mr. Rothwaffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video as always. If you have, the like button is the place to click, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.